guys, it's Peter Noir Ice Cream Bar, and I am making yet another wig today. This is definitely more of an experiment for me. This is not a wig that I was planning on uh, keeping and using to photograph and things like that. So you will see, I build it very sloppily. I didn't even finish the part because I felt that the experiment was over and I kind of understood the medium. The reason this is an experiment is because I, I dyed this hair in a different way than I normally would. And also I was using goat fiber for the first time, which I had never used before and I didn't know how it would react. And so I'm just going to talk briefly about that versus alpaca hair, which is what I've used in the past. I've also actually made wigs out of synthetic fiber and out of human hair, but let's just keep the comparison between alpaca and goat for now. The main difference I found was the goat hair was simultaneously more difficult and easier to comb through. The way it was packaged is possibly a factor in that, but I found the goat hair had tangles that was that were impossible to navigate. You just had to cut pieces away because it was just so matted and tangled. It was just a complete mess. However, the goat fiber, it felt a lot thicker than alpaca, and the pieces of hair uh, were, were harder to manage in that way, in that respect, because they were harder to straighten and a little bit harder to dye, and just more um, resolute, more um, defiant. But in the end, they turned out to be super, super soft. This is one of the softest wigs I have ever made. It is so incredibly baby soft. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And it's thick. It's very, very thick hair, right? You wouldn't um, use this to create thinner, more intricate styles. This is like thick, crazy hair. Like you could make a big, giant, poofy wig out of this, but probably you couldn't make a really thin wig out of this without treating the hair quite a lot. Uh, at least from my perspective, it was hard to flat iron it, and the more you glue the hair on, like I was making it how I would normally make an alpaca wig. So I used quite a bit of hair, and probably I could have used less. It was super, super thick, feeling and looking very poofy, but again, very soft. I did definitely have to go through and use a fair amount of human hair conditioning products to make this hair workable, otherwise it just simply would not flat iron, it just wanted to be in those tight little curls. But other than that, I found this really fun to work with. It was an interesting experiment, I'm not sure if I'll work with this particular hair again because it is so time consuming from my perspective uh, versus alpaca hair to get it straight and smooth. Even though it's really soft and even though I think it looks really nice, I was, it's just been easier for me to work with alpaca hair. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I will do my best to answer them in the comments below and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks again. Bye!